Hey guys, I'm Justin. I'm with a film crew called Top Priority Hunting. We're based in Boise, Idaho. And we're in between hunts on spring bear hunting right now. Uh, we've been sitting baits for the last few days. Um, what we're gonna do today is break down all of the gear that we would use on a three to four day spot and stock hunt for bear. Um, this is the gear that we used a couple weeks ago. Um, this gear, what you're seeing right here, is basically what one guy in our group is gonna carry as far as the lead filmer. Um, I'll get right into it, I'll show you the pack. Uh, we've been with EXO now for basically ever since they started. Um, we all run the 5500s. We feel that this pack suits our needs the best. We have used the 35s, but the 55 seems to fit a lot better as far as our gear and being able to pack so much camera gear and weapons and then the game on top of that. So that's the pack I run. Um, getting into the filming part of it, uh, we run the Manfrotto monopod. It's a little bit heavy. Uh, a lot of guys do not pack it because of the weight, especially in the back country. But it's completely adjustable and it really keeps our footage looking good, smooth. Um, most of the time this is what we're filming off of. It's run and gun, point and shoot. I mean, you're ready to rock with this thing. So it's, it's really quiet, it's easy. You don't have to set up legs. It's fast and efficient. We also run the Vanguard, which I will have. Um, it is a nice tripod. It's, it's pretty light. Um, it's aluminum. I only use this basically if I'm using a larger lens to really get out and reach an animal. So I will have this for filming with the big lens, but I also throw my binos on it in between when we're glass and trying to find the game. A um, couple of random small items. I always keep um, the lens caps for the camera and the lens themselves. That way when I'm done filming, I can put the camera in, put it away in my pack. Uh, we carry these little books that hold all of our SD cards. We film a lot, so we're always filling up cards, keeping organized, keeping them dry. That's huge. I also carry extra um, tripod shoes. Um, a lot of times we'll throw these on our spotters, binos, and then obviously the cameras. Um, one thing with our lenses being a DSLR camera, what we film with, um, we're always changing lenses and we use these little puffers to clean off the sensor between, between changing lenses. Um, if you don't, you can get dust on there and ruin a great shot. Um, the actual camera that I run is the Sony a7S II. We've used this for a couple seasons. We run the 24 to 70 Zeiss lens and we also run we we'll use this larger lens, which is a 70 to 300 Sony lens. Um, it is a 4.5 to 5.6. Uh, this is a lens that I'm gonna use on a setup. I'm set up as far as an elk coming in. I can really film the bull coming through the trees or if I'm on a deer hunt or a bear hunt that's I'm reaching out a couple canyons across. So we, we'll use this on our camera, on the tripod not too much on the monopod just because when you start zooming you can get some shake um, we use the video mic pro plus it's new this year for us i uh, really like it the features of it being able to record on two audio channels we have a basically if a shot's blown out it's too too much peak there's a safety channel so we're able to to lower our audio and post and pick the correct channel for what we need just a shotgun mic um, we also have what you're seeing this video filmed off of is the Sony um, a7 II, which is more of a photography camera. That thing is also, we've got a um, wide angle lens on it, so that really helps our photography, gets a lot of good pictures for us. Um, I also carry a lot of dry bags. You'll see in a lot of my gear, that way if I'm throwing anything that can get ruined, uh, we put it up as it starts to kind of rain right now. Uh, carry a lot of lens cloths. These help obviously clean the glass. You don't want any smudges on them. Protect your screens. Um, we also pack this pretty much everywhere we go, which is a rain cover for our DSL camera. Basically, you can slip the camera inside and just have the lens exposed so you can see what you're doing and keep the camera dry. As far as battery goes, it's kind of hard being a backcountry film crew. Um, a lot of guys ask us how many batteries we actually take, how do we recharge our stuff. And 
We honestly, we haven't found a system that works really good for charging. So we basically pack a ton of batteries. So we, we're up to 13. Uh, we take them all the time on day hunts, whether it's a day or whether it's 15 days. We take these because these Sonys eat batteries really fast, so we have to have them. And that's a must. You gotta have good batteries. I'll get into my sleep system. Um, you'll see in the next video, Garrett usually packs our, our tent, which is a Seek Outside TP. Um, it'll fit all three guys pretty comfortably. Um, we use footprints. These are just the Kelty footprints. Throw that down under our pads. Um, I run the Climate Static V2 on early season hunts, kind of like the spring hunt right now. And then I also have the, um, the same pad, but it is the insulated pad, so it's a little bit heavier. But where we're not getting cold at night, this pad works great for me. Uh, Thermo rest sitting pad. I use this pretty much anytime I'm glassing. Take my boots off. Need to stand up. You know, just get off the the hard surfaces. It's really nice. It's super lightweight. I uh, pack a pillow, just a cocoon blow up pillow. Um, I also t sleep a lot of times on my puffy jacket. Just kind of use my pack as basically a backstop and then throw the, the uh, pillow on top of that. Uh, the last season I started running this uh, new sleeping bag. It's a Western Mountaineering, the Terralite. Um, it's super lightweight. This thing almost feels like it would just rip at any moment. Um, but it's been a great sleeping bag for me. It's a 25 degree bag and it's really wide, which is great for me. I sleep on my stomach and have one leg kind of cocked. So it fits me great. Um, if it is going to be a super cold hunt, I'll have a blanket that I insert inside of it. It's thin like a sheet almost just to help with a cup with a few degrees. It works really well. Um, in my pack is Exos dry bag. So I take this pretty much if it's going to look like it's going to rain. If it's say above 40%, I'm packing this no matter what because I have so much camera equipment. I don't want my stuff getting ruined. Uh, I just have it in one of the Exo. Um, inserts but um, this thing basically fits down inside my pack take up takes up the whole 5500 cubic inch so that's really nice to have in an emergency if it's going to be raining um, as far as just miscellaneous items in my pack um, i will basically have knives I, got, I carry two knives i carry a havalon and the outdoor edge they're both interchangeable um, blades basically i carry two i like the havalon for skinning um, and then I use the outdoor edge for mainly all of our quartering and, and the gutless method. Um, this, th this pouch will hold my, uh, my tags, lighters, a uh, little bit of rope, and then uh, I usually like to take ibuprofen or aspirin. Um, occasionally we get dehydrated, need some you know, ibuprofen or something, get rid of a headache. Um, I do carry a first aid kit. Um, it's pretty basic bandages. Um, Couple, couple of little small items in it, but I probably should carry more, but I don't. Uh, moving on to my water system, I use the Sawyer Squeeze. Um, it's really nice because I can just fill up these bags. I don't necessarily have to do them down at the creek, and I can run it, basically fill this up, take it back to camp, and then squeeze it out into my um, water bladder. I usually take three to four of these bags. Um, I drink a lot of water, and then I also take a smaller platypus so I can make basically like a mixed fruit drink, um, some energy recovery stuff, and that way I'm not putting um, basically the flavoring into my actual bladder itself. I run the three liter platypus bladder. Uh, it's worked great. Like I said, I take a little bit more water than probably most guys. I, I drink a lot, so having that is nice, and it fits right into the EXO, which is great with the new addition of the of the sleeve for the water bladder. Um, getting over to my food, basically I like to make day packs. So this is basically what I would eat throughout the day. Um, ramen noodle, bagels, um, got some mashed potatoes, um, peanut butter, and granola bars. This is basically morning through lunchtime, and then in our, you know, at night I'm eating a mountain house meal. I only pack mountain house for dinners. I don't like to eat all these all the time. I have a hard time eating every single one of them. Um, take flavored drinks. Water kind of gets old after a few days. 
and then I also take coffee, which we have about every morning um, before we go out on the hunt. I use a jet boil. Uh, I like the smaller size, however, this one doesn't have the quick start, um, but it's small, so it's lightweight and seem to work really well for me. Um, getting over to, I carry, all of us kind of split up the gear as far as the necessary things like game bags. Um, can't remember the name of these. Caribou. We use the caribou game bags. These are just the elk um, game bags. So I'll carry a couple, Gary to carry a couple, Jeremy as well. Um, as the camera guy, I try not to be glassing too much so you won't see me on a spotting scope. Um, I will have binos, you know, in between filming and trying to glass. Um, I will have binos. Um, I use the Me the Freak um, vinyl harness. It's their large style. And I run the 12x50 Vortex razors. Um, it's been a great bino. I can get out and reach. Um, I also like to I've got the attachment right here that goes directly onto one of my uh, shoes that I'll attach to my tripod so I can basically sit down and get real steady and, and glass off of. Getting into basically what I would wear on a three to four day hunt, weather say 40s to 70, 80 degrees. I start with the base layer, so I got the merino wool bottoms, merino wool t-shirt on top um, from Cryptic. Um, I wear the Alios pant on most of the hunts or the Ragnars, these are the Alios. Um, we do wear the Sherpa hoodie, which is this hoodie here, it's got a nice top to it and you can conceal pretty well. Uh, this Dalibor jacket here has a soft shell, I wear this quite a bit. Um, I don't really hike in the coats just because I overheat pretty easily. Um, same with the Aquilo, which this is uh, an item that I take pretty much on every single hunt. Uh, I've used it as a pillow, but most importantly, it keeps you warm. This is great for early morning when you're glassing or in your, you're in some rain and it's just pretty nasty. So this is probably one of our favorite items from Cryptic. Along the lines of the dry bag, I also take rain gear top and bottom so if it's about a 40% chance of rain I'm gonna wear these and to keep me dry a little bit heavy so you don't like to take them if, you know if you don't have to so really pay attention to the weather I take an extra pair of socks extra pair of wool socks merino wool um, they help you know after a few days your the other socks get pretty crusty and, and your feet are starting to hurt so it's nice to have a dry pair uh, I take a buff keeps your neck nice and war warm and then also on the, some of the hot hunts, if you dip it in a creek, throw it over your head, it'll cool you down. And then I also take a um, pair of gloves. So that's pretty much all the gear that one of our camera guys is gonna have in their pack uh, on a three to four day hunt. Um, this is basically exactly what I had a couple weeks ago with the Mealy Freak guys on our spot and stock bear hunt. So hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll get it all packed up and give you a wait at the end of the video. So thanks for watching.